So, a cozy traveler that I picked up for free on Marketplace did not have any LP gas lines. What do you expect when you get stuff for free? Not a whole lot. This video is a quick video on how I replace these gas lines. And I'll show you the tools I used and how I check the lines for leaks. So before I start, I just want to give a, a close up of how I'm going to flare the uh, copper tubing. So here's this uh, kit that I purchased uh, off of Amazon. Spent a little more money on this. You can get them cheaper than the $80. I think you can find ones for like, you know, 20 or $30. But I just wanted to make sure I had something decent because I am dealing with the gas line and I want to make sure I get a good flare out of this. This kit obviously comes with uh, two different flare clamps. I guess one metric, one American. Comes with your flaring tool, a nice tube cutter, and then a deburr. Up close, what we would do is we would cut our pipe, obviously, to length. So say I gotta cut my pipe. I'm gonna cut it. Once the pipe's cut, take your deburring tool and just get the burrs out from inside the, the tubing, go clockwise. Once you have all those burrs out, you'll take your flaring clamp, but then once you have the nut on, you put the tube in, put the gauge over the 3 8 slide the tube all the way up. the gauge. Once, once that's there, you just kind of move the gauge out of the way. Sorry about the wind. And take your flaring tool and you're going to put it up to the mark right above the 3 8 and as you tighten it, it should, it has these holes on the side and it'll kind of line it up. Once it's tight, just take your handle, turn clockwise. And what I like about this tool is I don't have to guess at how tight to get it. It's got a, it's got a clutch that will disengage when it's at the right tension. See how that clutch disengaged? Just kind of go around one or two more times until it clicks back in and then you can loosen it and then loosen the lower clamp slide it out there you have your flared end, and obviously you'll have your nut on there that uh, goes up and then you'd screw it into your appliances from there. And that's just a close up. Now let me get to the trailer. I'm using 3 8 inch OD 50 foot copper coil. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the water heater and I'm gonna measure out how much of this I need. So I'm going to feed it up through. Into the camper. As I feed it up through. through there. Now I come back down to here and try to determine what would 
should be a good length that I need. What you're gonna to wanna to do is, since we have it marked to the length we need, <clears throat> copper cutting tool and just kinda of go around. Cut it off. Take this deburring tool and just kind of go around the uh, Go around the edge of that. A couple times. Get all the birds out of there. Don't want to forget to put the nut on. Okay, so once you have a D-bird, take your nut, put it on there, and take your flaring clamp, and you're gonna put it on there. You use the little gauge that's here to determine where it goes. And stop gauge, I guess. And then you move and tighten. You have that tightened all you do is just you just turn the handle it's got a clutch that will stop it when it gets to its the proper flare it's fairly simple this tool makes it pretty easy okay so now it's got the proper flare just kind of loosen this so you can slide this off go you got your flared end ready to be screwed in so there's the, uh, the first end done now I'm gonna go work on the other end all right now that I have that one end done I'll uh, get to this end. There. That line is done. Now I'm going to attach it.
trying to get this on is side I already put the tape on and I will make the connection So after I got all the lines together to test for leaks, I just use uh, some soapy water and spray it over all the connections. So I'll start with the water heater. Now if it's leaking, I would see a bunch of bubbles being blown. None there. As you can see there, there are some bubbles being blown. So there's a small leak right there. And I will try to tighten that up and see if that fixes it. If not, I will take it apart and try it again. So I'll just try and tighten it up. Tightening it up just stop those air bubbles from coming out. All right, so now I've got the conduit over the lines. I'm gonna fill the holes with some spray foam. And there's the hole filled with the great stuff. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully it was helpful. If there's something you saw I could do better, please let me know. If you enjoyed watching the video, I'd, I'd appreciate that as well. And uh, Cozy Traveler is almost done. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see what it looks like completed. Thanks for watching.